hello 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 and welcome back to my channel i know it has been three weeks girl i know but i'm alive i'm living i'm doing good and i'm still living for christ most importantly okay <laughs> hello everybody um today's gonna be or today's video is going to be a video that i honestly do not want to do a video that i have not been wanting to do but i know that it has to happen and i know that it's very important on both ends for my supporters and then for me as well i don't really know what to say um but i do want to go ahead and give you know some kind of reasoning as to where i've been how i'm doing etc etc um while also keeping my privacy you know having privacy because one thing that I genuinely value more than I have ever valued before is privacy but I want a good balance I want to be able to have my private life and a lot more privacy but also be able to connect with my sisters because I believe a very big reason why you know we're kind of like family for real is because I do get more personal but with being personal comes, you know, the reason why I've been gone. I want to say this the right way. But before I get into, you know, my talking and my rambling, um, remember that I am a human as well. Remember that I am a human as well. And trust me, y'all ain't the only people that have to like realize that. I also have to realize that people are human as well. And that hurting people hurt other people. <sighs> what was I saying before that? Um, yeah privacy and giving some insight as to where I've been um, I've been enjoying life I've been living life I have seriously been sorry y'all my TV to shut off I'm trying to have that lighting yes ma'am um, but I have seriously been living the Chloe Yasmine life that I've been wanting for a long time but I just didn't know really how to achieve that lifestyle and that kind of lifestyle is basically just a very peaceful private easygoing um, content lifestyle and it took for me to get away um, from YouTube for this time and those times previously um, to experience it and know what I want in life I'm very grateful for it and I'm sure we're all aware here that there was a recent Chloe Yasmine hate train um, I didn't look too much into it because look seeking you shall find baby you looking for something, you gonna find it. A lot of it came to me, popped up on my page. Um, a lot of my family brought it to my attention. And at first I'm like, girl, anyways, like stay in your lane. Like worry about what you have going on over there. Don't worry about what I got going on over here because baby, if I got a freaking magnifying glass into your life, promise you, you would never want to be public again because it's gonna expose every little thing you got going on behind closed doors and you want to sit up here and talk about me. The people that talk about other people are the ones that got stuff going on behind closed doors. And I was also like, for real, most of y'all ain't even mad. Most of y'all just want some kind of reason to be mad. So you're just tacking on to what other people got going on because you feel comfortable because there's so many people doing it. So at first I'm like, girl, so anyways, back to life because I'm not worried about you and what you have going on. I'm not worried about you taking your stress and anxiety out on me because you burnt your chicken last night and your husband's mad. And then I came to reality. And coming to reality, I really had to speak to the Lord. And he was like, I, I need you to accept that your feelings are hurt. I need you to accept that they hurt your feelings and acknowledge it. If you don't acknowledge that these people have hurt you, and if you don't cry it out, and if you don't humble yourself enough to say, I'm hurt by what you did and the attack that came on one person, you'll walk around bitter and angry forever. And I'm not gonna lie, I did become that way. And it even made me more like, oh, towards Jordan because I'm like low-key I show y'all what I want to show you you don't know what goes on behind closed doors not saying that you know Jordan is like this toxic mean guy behind closed doors but there's just things that you have to keep private and so full stories realistically you know the public and the audience never gets because you have to have some sort of privacy but with that comes people not understanding and attacking bullying because of what they seen and what they understand so I cried it out I still cry it out I've realized that it's okay to have feelings and it's okay to admit that someone hurt your feelings nowadays you can't do stuff like that because then you're weak oh you're a coward oh girl you ain't a strong woman 
No, listen. It takes an even stronger person to admit that yes, you hurt my feelings. There's only so much someone can take. And this situation has been extremely eye-opening for me when it comes down to public figures. We tend to judge these public figures and talk about these public figures as if they ain't human. And I'm so grateful because I have the Lord Jesus Christ to run to. But if you are blind to the truth, it's like, who do you run to? So all I can do is pray that they would allow the Lord Jesus Christ to become their Lord and Savior and seek Him because He has been my comforter during this whole entire thing. And during everything that hurts me, but I'm not very good at admitting that, you know, somebody hurt my feelings only because, well, no, it's just strictly pride. Pride is very dangerous. Pride is the root to a lot of sin, to all sin. Pride leads to destruction. Guaranteed, you know, when you're feeling haughty ha 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 and prideful, there's a downfall coming, guaranteed. It happens every time. I don't like being vulnerable about my insecurities, about my feelings being hurt, about finances, because I don't like anybody ever feeling like they're one up on me, that they got what they wanted. But that is a tactic of the devil to get us to not be human. God gave us tears for a reason. He gave us a voice for a reason, and feelings and emotions for a reason. Unfortunately, in this day and time, unity is very rare. <laughs> Um, even in blood families. And I'll tell you what though, I'm not gonna lie, like this time, being away from YouTube and the attack. When I tell y'all I took my family for granted, not like family, like I'm taking them for granted, like I'm just blah, 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 blah. But like not spending enough time, not getting to understand them. But this situation has made me like value family so much more because they're the only people that understand me. We all grew up in the same household. So y'all the only ones that understand me. My brothers, my brothers. They get me. My mom. Oh my gosh. I'm just a mini her. And I love her so much because I don't know what I would have done without her. <clears throat> I feel like I'm going around in circles. But I just want to talk because I've been gone because I've been hurting. And if I'm being honest, like, going about life right now is so peaceful and wonderful. But, like, my YouTube world, because at the end of the day, you have your life. And you have your YouTube life. Not saying that you're faking, coming on camera and faking, but my fellow YouTubers understand. Going about my daily life um, has been amazing and peaceful and um, so enjoyable. And I haven't been so tense and so, you know, stressed. But thinking about getting back into the YouTube world and turning back on the camera has been so hard. Like legitimately, I was not gonna make this video. This video was not gonna go up. I was gonna jump right back into the world and act like nothing ever happened, like you never affected me, etc. etc. I don't care. But um I went out today to try to film and I couldn't. And on my way back home, the Lord was like, you know you gotta make that video, girl. Baby, I know it's gonna be hard. But daddy's with you. I may not have a worldly father, but I have the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's my dad. And he takes good care of me. So I'm hoping that by like being vulnerable, expressing my feelings, and coming on camera, finally doing this video. It will help me to get back to my YouTube world and not be so anxious and stressed and <sighs> scared to get back into my workflow. My email has been deleted for a pretty long time. I don't think I ever announced that. Um, but I do have my Snapchat still open. I would greatly appreciate if you guys would send me, sorry y'all, my stomach is grumbling. I'm waiting for Jordan to get out of work so he can take me to get something to eat, but I would greatly appreciate if you guys did send some encouraging words to my Snapchat. Um, that's gonna be down below. I would greatly appreciate that. Some encouraging, motivating words. Um, and then maybe like some video ideas. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna go from here, like content wise, like, cause I wanna have more privacy. Um, and I really want to enjoy this. So I feel like a change in my content is going to be the move for me. <sighs> Just for me to be able to like, you know. Girl, I don't forgot what I was saying. But I was saying something about, you know, like maybe like a content change. Um, some changes are going to be made. Um, because I just want something different. I don't have the same passions that I used to have. And I really like been trying out things that I never try. Like <clears throat> budgeting. Y'all know, like, I'm, I love to shop. And I can afford everything that I purchase. But I've been having a lot of fun with, like, budgeting and saving money. Um, because it's nice to see your account grow. And then on top of that, I've been decorating. So I've been watching Clean Talk on YouTube. Because, girl, I need motivation. And so it got my stomach, girl. It got me to 
decorate my whole entire kitchen and I'm so proud of my kitchen I cannot wait to show you guys in my next video or so girl please stop please stop so yeah maybe like content changes most likely my snapchat is open I would appreciate some encouraging messages from there right now the Lord is really working with me on forgiving the people that did what they did I'm really working on forgiving those people y'all it's not easy um, I have to understand that hurting people hurt other people. I have to understand that some people have literally nothing to live for and all they have is a screen. And so that's where they take out everything and that's where they live. And it's very unfortunate. And so I'm really working on forgiving those people because for a minute I was pretty angry, but I'm well aware that human anger cannot produce the righteousness of god it's always something but it is also people out there that do not like that i read joyce meyer books i'm gonna be finishing this in search of wisdom book and when i tell you guys wisdom is like all i want um but in here there was one that said be slow to anger in the new testament the apostle james writes my dear brothers and sisters take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that god desires so we want to be producing righteousness we want to sow good seeds so we can reap good seeds but in anger we cannot do so so the lord's really been working on me with that um because i'm really trying to forgive and understand that they're humans and that i've been you know mean towards people as well i love my joyce meyer books you guys absolutely absolutely love my joyce meyer books i don't care what nobody says a lot of people do not believe in listening to people like joyce meyer and joel osteen because they believe in abundance and they live very well oh but they're evil because they ride in rolls royces and no they're very much so blessed as christians we should be aware that our father completely owns everything and we're his baby so he wants to bless us not just throw things at us so we're spoiled and haughty and here comes a fall but he wants you to live in abundance and he wants you to have nice things that is our dad that is our father and i mean there's plenty of reasons why people do not like joyce meyer and joel osteen um but baby i show love the word that they preach and i know that it's straight from the lord jesus christ i hope i covered everything but wisdom has seriously been something that um i've been really seeking and praying for because i really just want wisdom and humility and peace um, which all comes with wisdom. 1 Thessalonians 4.11 Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands. Before a downfall, the heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. Amen. Oh my gosh, I felt the Holy Spirit on that. I love that Joyce Meyer ain't sugarcoating nothing, baby. She ain't sugarcoating nothing. She said it like it is, for real. I'm gonna go ahead and share this last highlight because I feel like a lot of us need to hear this because I feel like a lot of us just want to know what our plan is in life, like what we're meant to do, um, where our success is gonna come from, um, et cetera, et cetera. Pondering on the future too much can stress you out to the point of you being paralyzed and not being able to do anything, pursuing any dreams, doing anything productive, all from, all from um, thinking too much and stressing too much about the future. And this one right here is simple, straight to the point, and I love it. God doesn't give us a blueprint for our entire lives. He guides us one step at a time. We really have to trust the Lord Jesus Christ in every step of our life. One step at a time. We know that he has great plans for us. All Jesus Christ wants for us is good for us. But in order to go about life peacefully, slowly and happily is to take one step at a time he will guide your steps if you allow him to little by little i know sometimes i get caught up in like video ideas like what am i gonna do for the next five videos okay well how about you go ahead and let him guide you just for the next one just for the next one i feel like i've said everything that i needed to say and that i wanted to say I do want to go ahead and ask um, for you guys to please pray for me and pray for this battle that I'm in um, of getting back on my feet in this YouTube world. Um, I ask that you please pray for my mental and for my strength um, and pray for me to have the courage and the boldness to be me um, coming back onto camera and not, you know, you know, putting on a persona because I'm scared to be me. 
And then I just want to go ahead and also thank you guys once again. I've been thanking you guys, but thanking you guys, thanking my sisters so much for having my back, being there for me, defending me, and understanding that I'm a human, and just overall loving me like a sister and like a true sister, um, and really just being there for me. Like, I just want to say thank you because I'm genuinely so grateful. My mom and I talk about you guys all the time about how grateful we are for you guys because when I tell y'all, like, through these last um, couple months or whatever the heck, my mom has just been seriously reminding me, baby, there are people out here that truly love you and are there for you. And they ain't worried about what nobody else is talking about. They really love you and they really look up to you. Every time she says that, I just tear up. Like, every time I just want to break down because it's like, really? And it sucks because I'm like, I want to be there for them, but I have to be there for myself as well. But like, I remember being so miserable growing up with the way my father would act. And I watched this certain YouTuber every single day. I would just rewatch their videos until the next one came out. <laughs> because my mind would just get off of everything that I was going through. And I know that I'm that for some people. I know that I am that for some people. So just please pray for me. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and head up out of here. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And it's time for your girl to go.